In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take your marketing efforts to the next level by creating any image promo like the one that you're seeing on the screen right now with two AI tools that are absolutely free and easy to use. They will definitely help you to get potential customers to pay more attention to your mockups in their feed and get them to be more curious about your online store promotions. So with that said, let's head on over to my computer and get started with today's video. Let's go. Okay, so the first website that we're going to be covering in today's video tutorial is a website called Leapix Converter, and the website address is convert.leapix.com. Don't worry, I'm going to put the links to both of the websites that I'm going to be covering in today's video tutorial, both in the description and in the pinned comment section down below. So you should have no troubles gaining access to either of the websites. Now, when you access Leia Picks, you're going to come to this homepage, as you can see here, where you're bringing your images to life. And the first thing that you want to do, obviously, is to sign up. You can sign in with Google, with Facebook, or you can provide an email address. However you want to sign out, don't worry, go ahead and do so. It's absolutely free to use. You're not going to be asked for any credit card details or whatnot. And once you've registered, you're going to come to this page, as you can see here on the screen right now. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to click on upload so that you can actually upload your image, your mock-up, your advert, whatever it is that you're creating that you want to add some pizzazz to. And when you click on the upload, you're going to be taken to the following screen. Now, I've already gone ahead and done so, but when you click on the upload, you're going to be taken to your, obviously, your computer drive where you can actually navigate to the folder where your artwork or your graphics are located. And then you can just obviously click open and your artwork will be presented on the screen as you can see here. Now, as you can see, it's already moving, okay? Um, because I already went ahead and actually started playing around with the various tools that this particular website has to offer. And it's really easy to use. It's got a very simple interface. You don't have to be a brain scientist to be able to obviously navigate and actually work your way around on it. Let's go through all the different tools that you have uh, just so that we can see what kind of effect it's going to have on the artwork that we've presented. So the first tool that you can see here is animation length. So if we click on it, we're given six different durations in terms of length from one second to six seconds. Obviously, if you click on six seconds, it is going to slow your animation down. Obviously, if you click on 1S, it's going to speed it up. So obviously, it depends on the graphic that you're using and how much attention that you want to gain for this particular piece of artwork that you're going to be uploading. I would suggest that you either choose three or four just so that you don't make anybody who's viewing it getting dizzy by looking at it. Um, three seconds or four seconds, I think, is more than enough. Um, right now, it's set to three seconds, and you can see that we've got a nice movement. When we're talking about movement, we can actually click on animation style, and we are given five different options for animations that we can utilize, okay? So if we just click on horizontal here, then the entire graphic is going to move from left to right. If we choose wide circle, obviously, everything is going to be moving in a circular format. And obviously, it's going to be in a wide, so it's not going to be moving as pronounced as, for example, if we should click on circle. So let's click on circle here, and you can see that obviously the graphic is moving a lot more. It's more open form of a circle. If we choose tall circle, then we're going to be narrowing from the horizontal, and we're going to be moving up and down in a circular format. But if we click on vertical, then obviously this is going to be going up and down. And then obviously perspective, which is a new tool to this website, okay, this is effectively what you saw in the intro to this video. It's it's a, a nice gentle movement all across. So you have quite a bit to select in terms of what kind of movement that you would like for your graphic to do. Um, again, it all depends on the complexity of your graphic and indeed where you want to actually focus the attention in terms of the movement. Now, uh, the next tool that we have, let's just close this one here. Uh, we have amount of motion. Now, here we have three choices. We've got less, regular, and more. Currently, it's set to less, but if we just click on regular, okay, the speed of the motion is a lot quicker. Obviously, if we click on more, then there's going to be a lot more movement. There's going to be a lot more pronounced in the graphic too as well. So again, it all depends on how much attention you want to grab when you are actually uploading something like this to your social media feed, you can also download it as an MP4, but we'll get to that later on. Now, we can also click the focus point. And in this particular case, I have it toggled to far, but if we click on center, it's going to be a little bit slower and you can see that the animation is really anchored towards the center of the graphic. Obviously, if I click on close, 
then we are going to be moving a lot closer. There's a lot more gentle movement, and you can even see that the background is moving a little bit more pronounced too as well, okay? So every graphic is going to have a different effect. So you want to play around with these tools in order to see, obviously, which effect is going to be the best for your graphic that you're currently working on so that you can get the most maximum attention for it. Okay, so the next tool is edge dilation. If we just click on it, we're given four choices here from zero up to 1.5. So it's going in half step increments. And again, every click is going to have a different effect on the graphic. So you can really go to town in terms of the movement selection. And then the final tool is the advanced editor where you can click on it. You're given a few more tools in terms of amplitudes, your phases, in terms of how things are going to be moving around. Um, again, you can play around with these tools in order to see what kind of effect it will have on the graphic. Again, if you click on back, you're going to go back to the original uh, menu. Now, once you're done unhappy with the effects of the movement, another thing that you could do is you could click on your depth map. And again here, this is where it's going to give you a little bit more of an advanced selection. Here you can actually paint with black and white in order to decrease and increase the effect of the movement on your graphic in terms of, you know, you're selecting your brush sizes, the opacity, the size of it. And as you play around with these settings, it's obviously going to have an effect on the movement of your graphic in terms of what is going to remain static and what is going to be moving around. So you can play around with that. And if you make a mistake, if you're not happy with something, you can just click on undo to go one step back or as many steps as you want to go back should you make a mistake and you obviously need to repeat a step. Now, once you have gone through all of the tools and you're happy with the movement of the graphic, the next step is to obviously share it. Now, when we click on the share button here, a window opens and we are given a number of options. We can either share to Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or we can actually even email. Uh, you can actually even copy down the link and share to whoever you want via the link. And then down over here, you can actually even save it to your device. You can save it as a GIF, as an MP4, and four other formats that you can actually save to your computer depending on what it is that you are looking for. You can even save it as a Facebook 3D image too as well. Now, you might say to yourself, well, Brian, this is a really interesting tool and I plan on using it because I think the fact that it's free and it's so easy to use is really going to help me to get my mock-ups out there. But how am I going to create these advertisements similar to what you are showing over here in order to obviously make my artwork stand out even further. Because I don't have a lot of time to be able to do this. I don't want to invest any more money into paid programs, into paid websites in order to get templates or whatnot. What can I do in order to gain these mock-ups, these advertisements, these templates, call it what you like, without having to incur a hefty cost? In fact, I would prefer that they will be free. Well, you know what? I'm glad that you asked that question because this particular graphic that you're seeing on the screen now came from the next free website that I'm going to be sharing with you. Let's go. Okay, so the next website that we're going to be covering in today's video tutorial is this website that we see here on the screen right now called Simplified. And as I stated in the intro to this video, these tools are absolutely free to use. This particular website does have certain aspects that are against payment, but for the most part, you don't even need to touch those aspects because with what the free version allows for should be more than enough to cover your needs. Now, what we want to do here is we want to navigate our mouse pointer to this button here called create. And when you do so, we're going to get this beautiful drop down menu where we can see we've got posts and stories, online ads, e-commerce, business, and video. Now, the video component is a paid aspect, but what we are interested in is the section pertaining to posts and stories. Now, I can choose Instagram stories, Facebook posts, LinkedIn posts, Pinterest pins. Each of them are going to be configured for that particular social media platform. But the tools that you're going to be given to create your artwork, your graphics, is effectively going to be the same. So let's just click on Facebook posts over here. And when we do so, we're, well, obviously we come to this page which says design stunning Facebook posts in seconds. And then all you want to do is click on start designing a Facebook post. All right. Now, when you do so, when you click on it, obviously a new page is going to open. Now, what you can do is when you get to this particular page, you can actually import your graphics, your artwork, your resources onto this canvas here and start building your graphic however that you would want to create. But the great thing about Simplified is that it also provides you with a number of templates. So we're going to click on templates here. And as you can see here, we've got a number of categories. And for today's video tutorial, 
we're going to be looking at the sale category. So if I just click on that, okay, if I click on this arrow here and choose view all, we're going to be presented with a number of templates that we can go through and we can modify and edit for our own e-commerce shops. Now, I already went ahead and brought the graphic in and created it. So I'm going to just go to that right now. And I'm just going to show you the tools that you can utilize in order to really create a fantastic graphic like we saw um, that we actually imported into Layapix so that we can provide our potential customer base with a real amazing graphic to grab their attention and drive more traffic to our print on demand or online shops. Okay. So on the left hand side here, we've got text, media, visuals, which is the paid component and AI images. So yes, you can even create AI images for your graphics. But what I did, as you can see here, I drag and dropped my graphic over here, this beautiful woman in this crop top with a design I created. I run on sunscreen and ice cream. Now, if you're curious to know where I got this mock-up from, this mock-up was created on Placeit. I'm going to leave a video link in the description box down below, and I'm going to post a thumbnail right now on the screen about how I go about utilizing Placeit to create my own mock-ups for my designs. If you're new to the print-on-demand industry, or maybe perhaps you are unaware of Placeit, I would highly recommend that you watch that video after you conclude this video so you can get an idea of how do you utilize Placeit. There is a link down in the description box below. Full disclosure, it is an affiliate link. So if you do click on it, and obviously do take a subscription to it, um, obviously you'll be helping out this channel, and I thank you well in advance for doing so. But as you can see here, this is a mockup that obviously I downloaded from Placeit. And what I did was, when we go into the templates here, um, let me just show you where I got from. Obviously, we clicked on sale here. And I just scrolled all the way down. And I decided to select the template that you can see right over here. So it's this one over here. It had some drinks on it. And I thought this would be really great to obviously change the text on it and bring in one of my mockups in place of the graphic here. And obviously that really cut down among the processing time because, you know, the template on Simplified has already cut down on the amount of work by presenting the resources already nicely laid out, which is effectively going to present me with a really nice graphic that I can post onto Facebook accordingly. So then what you want to do here is you want to obviously tweak the various components on this graphic to whatever it is your needs. Now, as you can see, um, we also have a layer section over here, and you can get to that simply by, obviously, you've got two menu bars. So you've got your edit, and you've got your layers. Now, in the layers, very similar to Photopea and Photoshop, you have every component in the graphic that you can go in, you can click on it. Um, to do so, you just double-click on the component, and obviously, you get your cursor, and you can just, obviously, delete and add as you would like. Okay? With a spelling mistake there, Okay. You can even change the font size. If you want to increase the size of the text or of the graphic, just grab one of the handles and resize accordingly. If you want to change the color of anything, you can do so by clicking upon it. You click on edit and you've got the color section, which you can click. And then you can either input the hex code or the RGB value or just select a color from the color palette. It's really easy to use. Um, if you've been doing kind, any kind of graphic design or, or any kind of designing for your online shop, then clearly you're going to know how to go about utilizing these tools and what a hex code or what an RGB value is. These are effectively the codes or the numbers in terms of weight of how the colors are mixed in order to present or produce the color that you are looking for um, for your respective uh, brand, whatever your brand colors are going to be. Okay. And you just go through all of the tools here. Simply by navigating through the website, you can create drop shadows and strokes. You can even move your layers all around just by grabbing the handles and moving them. And obviously, depending on where you place them in the layers palette, that's going to affect how the graphic is going to look. Now, when you are finished creating your graphic, all you need to do is very at the top here, you're going to click on export and you want to click on download. Now, it does give you the option to publish on social or publish to community. I prefer downloading it to my computer and then uploading it manually just so that I can I can have the control that I want on it. OK, this way I know where it's going to be posted to, how it's going to look. And if I want to include any kind of text or whatnot, I can do so. So this is a super simple free website that you can utilize 
to grab your mockups, to grab your, your resources and import them into this free platform to create some amazing promos that you can actually upload to your social media platforms, either as is in static format, or you can then, after you've downloaded them, import them into layout picks, get that nice motion going so that you can grab the attention of potential customers to come to your shop, drive more traffic, and hopefully to increase more sales. So I certainly hope that you enjoyed this video today. If you got value out of it, do me a favor, smash that like button. If you're new to this channel or haven't as yet subscribed to this channel, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button right now and turn on the bell notification icon so that you'll be informed each and every time that I upload a new video to my channel. But for today, that's all I've got. And as always, be safe, be well, be creative. Bye for now. Hey, thanks again for watching this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to do so. If you are interested in taking your print-on-demand business to the next level and learning how to generate more sales, please consider clicking on one of the two video thumbnails that have appeared on your screen now. I'll see you there. Thanks again.